Hey boys, welcome back to the channel where we are going to be discussing the All-Stars game, which is happening in a couple of days, this Saturday. This Saturday night, I think it is? Friday, Saturday? I think it's Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday, Saturday the 12th. So, very exciting. I just want to... <laughs> I want to say one thing before I get into the into the teams here. Um, I've seen a few people, like, carry on about the All-Stars game being pointless and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, can you... Just just shut up. <laughs> like, just get over it, man. Like, this is, just, this is a... I love the All-Stars game. Is it sometimes not the best footy of all time? Yeah. And uh, the team's... Honestly, well, I actually think generally the teams are very strong um, compared to like other, you know, other sports All Stars games. Like the, these, the teams go hard and they're usually pretty pretty stacked. So um, people just need to chill out. Like this is a great appetizer for the regular season in a few weeks. You know, it gives our first taste of first taste of footy, people just get so upset with <laughs> with everything in sports, man. I know, I get it at points, but it's like, just just chill out and watch the game and enjoy it. Like, why, why does everything have to be so <laughs> controversial and and uh, and such a big deal? It's just, it's just a fun, it's just a good game to watch before the season opens. So, um, that's the only little thing. Uh, but let's, I, I wanted to, um, I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more real life content on the channel. I'm just I'm just keen to talk about rugby league man. It's uh it's felt like a very long off season for some reason. I don't know why it just has. Um but I'm gonna go through the team lists here. I'm gonna go through the lineups. Who do I think is going to uh to come out on top? You know, positional battles, all that sort of good stuff and uh let's 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 get straight into it. So starting off with the fullbacks, Jordan Rapina up against William Kennedy, so a bit of chalk and cheese, you know, we're up in it with the experience, just, you know, just works, works all game, plenty of runs, plenty of work, I've, I've, I've got to, I've got to say, I'll give it, I'll give it straight off the bat to Kennedy here, I think Kennedy is just a more natural fullback, um, you know what you're going to get with Rapina, I think the kick returns are, are a huge plus with Rapina at the back, but Kennedy just adds that little bit more class. He's just got a bit more class about him. I actually really like Kennedy as a player. I think he's got a lot of talent. Keen to see how he goes at the Sharks this year with uh, with a couple of fresh faces. A, a stronger, you know, potentially a stronger team in general there. Um, and he just, he has that ball playing and some, uh, and some attacking attributes running as well so yeah i'll give that to i'll give that to kennedy for the indigenous side the wingers for the maori team we got morgan harper and patrick herbert up against fido and ado Carr. i mean it's i think it's pretty i think it's pretty clear cut here the the hammer and ado Carr, a couple of very electric wingers in uh in this indigenous team that is that is quite that's quite mouth-watering, those two guys lining up on opposite sides of the field. That, that's that's exciting stuff. I mean, Morgan Harper is a solid player, you know, prim primarily a, a center for sure. Um, and Patrick Herbert, the same, um, a center. So, okay, you know, a couple of guys out of positions as well. So, again, I've got to, I've got to give it to the indigenous side in, in that department. Um, and I just, I, I think, I think... <laughs> Fido and, and Adokar just have a little bit more spark, and that's sort of sort of the trend at the moment with this uh, with this indigenous side. And I mean, that's 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 sort of typical for for their team. A lot of a lot of very talented and exciting backline players. But uh, the centers, Dylan Walker, Remus Smith up against Jesse Ramian and Brent Naden. So this, this is a little bit more balanced, I feel. Um, yeah, I, I, honestly, uh, it's a tough one to pick. I, I know a lot of people don't like Dylan Walker, and as a person, I don't know. <laughs> he seems a bit, you know, not the best. But as a footy player, I think he is. He's a he's a good footy player, um, and I think he is good in the centres. Probably not at his heyday back in uh, the Rabbitohs era. Um, he was electric in the centres. You know, he's put on a bit of bulk, and he's more around the middle of the field now. Um, 
So, you know, he's lost he lost that edge, so I, he maybe is the weaker out of the four, potentially, in the centers. Remus Smith, very good center, um, has a lot of talent, obviously had a great year at the Storm, up against Jesse Ramey in one of the, one of the more powerful and damaging backs, you know, very Katoni Staggs-like, he's just, he's just, a, he's, he's a monster. And then Brent Naden, he's a bit of a wild card, honestly, because uh, he was sort of out of favor at the Panthers. He honestly, I, he looked pretty good every time he played. He's gone to the Bulldogs, so again, I'm, I'm very keen to see how, uh, how a few of their, well, Adokar as well, <laughs> Adokar and Brent Naden are going to be at the doggy, so you might get a nice little, uh, nice little prelude as uh, if they are lining up on the same side, um, how they might go in, uh, in day-to-day or week-to-week footy, but, uh, I, I honestly, I, I don't know, it's hard to split, I, <laughs> I can't, I can't really split them, I can't really split them. I might, maybe in the digital side, just sneaks over the top with uh, with the power of Ramian and, and Naden, probably just slightly better than Walker, I would say. Um, so I, I, I probably got to give it to the indigenous side. So the, the back five, I think uh, indigenous have a, have a better strike. Uh, they have better strike in, in general in, in the back five. Moving into the halves, the halves. So we have got Chanel Harris Davida, Cody Nicarima, the Warriors combo there, uh, up against Nicholas Hines, Nico Hines, and uh, Brandon Trindle. So the the Sharkies combo. So again, it, it's a, a couple of um, you know a couple of nice pairings here, and they they should uh, you know they should play pretty well together. The Hines and, and Trindle obviously, are, you know, it's their first season together, but they obviously have been in in preseason. Um, so again, it's a nice little, nice little uh, appetizer for for how the Sharkies might perform with Hines and and Trindle. I think Trindle is probably the front runner to be the the halfback or um, the the halves pairing with Hines. They, they've got a couple of guys, obviously. Um, yeah, Moylan and oh, who's the other one? I can't think. I'm having a mind blank. But uh, honestly, I think I think Trindle. I think Trindle should be their Haas pairing, um, or should be in the Haas with Hines for the Sharks. I just, I, I like him a lot. I mean, he's a big body, he's strong defensively, he's got a good running game, decent kicking game. Like, I like Trindle a lot. Uh, but against the, 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 uh, I would say a little bit more flair, a little bit more excitement with Harris Savita and, and Nick Arima. So a bit, a bit of a flip of the script here. Um, I, I would give the the Maori halves a little bit more excitement value. And I do think, you know, Nick Arima obviously a little bit in and out of that Warriors team with Harris Savita. Like Harris Savita injured, Nick Arima, you know, dropped at certain points or back to the bench at times. So... But they, they should have a better understanding, and I, I think they I think in general they work pretty well together. So I'll I'll, I'll give I'll give the the Maori team the the plus the plus points in the in the halves department, which is big. It is big because and you know the halves are the guys that feed these these outside backs. So we'll see we'll see how high. I mean, Hines is untested in my mind at five eight. Um, obviously he played there a bit at the at the Storm. Uh, he played mainly at fullback and, and also coming off the bench at times. Um, but he's untested. I, I do feel like he's untested in the halves. I think he, he will be good. I, I just, you know, I think it might take him a bit to actually get into the, the full groove of it. And especially not in that Melbourne Storm team, you know. Because he, he would have known his role pretty well in, in the Storm outfit. So, I give the experience and just sort of the combo there of... of uh, Harris Tavino and Nicarima are a slight edge. Uh, moving into the forwards. Um, so, okay. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> so, the, the props. Joe Tarpany and James Fisher-Harris. Very strong. Up against Andrew Fafita and Ryan James. I am shocked that Andrew Fafita is, is playing. Like, what? I, I mean... I don't know. Like I'm, 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 I am shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. He is, he is playing, and he's in the starting team. He can't get a, a, a gig at the Sharks. Um, 
he's always injured, and obviously he had that uh, health scare last year as well to boot. So, um, yeah, I don't know. He always sort of turns up for the Indigenous uh, games, though. He always plays pretty well. Uh, but honestly, the front row, I've got to give it to the, the Maori side. Fisher-Harris, I mean, arguably the best front rower in the game, um, or at least top you know, top echelon, and then Joe Tarpany, I mean, he, he's, he's very underused and undervalued at that Raiders team, I, there's obviously dramas there, um, but Tarpany, I think, is a very, very good player, could play 13, could play, in, could play anywhere in the back row, lock, front row, very good forward, um, you know, Fafita, like I said, he does turn up and play well, very well in, in these all-star games, and Ryan James is, is very solid, front rower as well, but, I mean, yeah, Tarpany and Fisher-Harris, just sort of, yeah, they're all over them, um, the dummy halves of Aaron Clark and Ruben Cotter for the Indigenous side, um, that's a tough one, like, Ruben Cotter, he's more moved into that lock role, he, I mean, it's, it's tough, because he obviously, he played there a couple of games at the start of the year, and then suffered a season and an injury, uh, but he came through as a very good dummy half, I think his his position now probably is Locke, uh, who can play dummy half. Uh, Aaron Clark is he's just he's just okay. Um, you know he's going to be the Titans' starting dummy half, which I think is is probably still the Titans' weakest position in the spine. Just that dummy half. Aaron Clark, like I said, he's solid. He he makes his tackles, but he doesn't really provide that much spark. I I don't know. He's probably a bit of a wash. I don't think Ruben Cotter is going to. He's not going to provide that much spark either. Um, so I'll give these, I'll give it a bit of a wash here. I think the front row in general, though, front, you know, props and hooker combined, the Maori side is is uh, definitely in front on that department. Um, the back row, Kenny Bromwich, Britton Nakora, and Jazz Tavanga for the Maori side. And then Dave Fafita, Taroa Fuima Ono, and Josh Curran. For the indigenous side, so again, it's strong, dude. The forward packs are very, very strong. This is why, this is why I'm like, why are people so upset with their game? It's gonna be good fun. Um, that's tough. I mean, yeah, I, uh, I probably, I mean, Fuima Ono is probably the weak link in terms of sort of star quality, but I like Fuima Ono a lot. I think he is very underrated. Whenever he played starting. Um, at the Dragons last year, and he played big minutes. Oh man, he had some big games. He he pulled off some absolute try-saving tackles, so some big hits to cause knock-ons. He he's I I like him a lot, but in terms of like star power, he's probably the the lowest on the list here. But um, I don't know him for feeder. Josh Curran I also like a lot. Uh, up against, I mean, Tavanga is also very good. Uh, he's obviously had his injury concerns for a long time now, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Tavanga just, I don't know. He creates. He's got an offload. Tough as they come, not a big body, but he's a very good lock. Like he just, he's got that ball playing ability. He's got the offload, um, so I like that a lot. Uh, Bryn Nakora, last year Nakora is sort of went a bit backwards. I, I don't know. He burst onto the scene, looked very good, and then he was he was a bit yeah. He didn't he didn't have a great season last year. I think he got dropped at one point. Just uh, yeah, didn't have his best season. And then Kenny, Kenny Bromwich, I mean, a very solid player. Um, he's definitely coming to the back end of his career by now. Uh, but, it, you know, you know what you're going to get with him. I think he, he, he has a lot of skill as well. So, you know, solid enough. But I've, I've got to give it to the Indigenous side. I think anyone with, I mean, Dave Fafita just, <laughs> I mean, he's just a, an absolute wrecking ball. And then Fui Ono, who, like I said, I think he's underrated and I like him a lot. And then Curran also. He has that uh, he has that skill and uh, yeah I think he's a good lock for them. So I, I, at the moment the Indigenous side are, are sort of over the <laughs> well the back row stronger the front row weaker uh, and the halves weaker but the back the rest of the back line stronger. So it's it's uh, it's looking pretty even. <laughs> it's looking pretty even. We'll look at the bench here. See um see what we got to work with. Uh, so the Maori, Esan Masters, Royce Hunt, uh, TC Rabati, and Kevin Proctor up against Albert Kelly, Will Smith, Jermaine Tenor Brown, and Josh Kerr. So 
yeah, strange benches. I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know who to really. And honestly, so is it is it the same? Like, I'm trying to think. Like the All Stars games, generally they have like, uh, they've got the reserves here as well. Um, so 18, 19, 20. I thought generally they have like way more reserves like on the interchange bench than than four is that still the case am i am i going crazy or do they still just have four but they they have more interchanges in general i can't remember i'll just i'll just go off the four interchange plays at the moment i, I can't remember if they changed it or if it is still like that but uh i don't know this is <laughs> this is this is a tight one like i mean <laughs> I like the spark of Kelly and Will Smith and, you know, Tanil Brown and Josh Kerr, both both very solid players. Kerr can play back row, front row. Obviously, Tanil Brown is, is more of your prop. Um, and then Maori, I mean, Asan Masters, I'm not, eh, you know, he had a, a sh absolute shock. I mean, he's had a shock of the last couple of years, so I'm not, you know, him as the interchange X Factor, not that high on. Royce Hunt is, you know, he's a big body. He's not too bad. TC Rabati obviously is is very strong. And then Kevin Proctor, I've never liked, but <laughs> I know he's okay. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'll call this a bit of a wash as well, honestly. I, I think, um, yeah, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to really differentiate them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's the team list. So who do I think is going to win? I mean, on paper, and I think overall, I've got to give it to the indigenous side. I do think they just have they just have more strike. They have, yeah, better better forwards. I th I would just tip them with the forwards. The back row is quite a bit stronger. The front row isn't that much weaker, probably. Um, and then the halves. I don't think it's that much weaker than the the Maori side either. So I've got to give it to the indigenous side. I think it should be it should be a fun game, and you never know. Like these <laughs> these these early preseason matches, you don't really know uh, how players are gonna turn up, and um, you know someone someone could come out and and fire up. So um, I'm excited regardless. And uh, let me know in the comment section who do you reckon who do you reckon is gonna win this one? I'm keen. We haven't seen footy in in ages. It's great to have it back. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the NRL content. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.